Las Vegas Raiders need a right tackle. It's very clear, and I reported this yesterday. Uh, Alex Leatherwood is not going to be a tackle. He is likely going to be a guard for the rest of his career. Uh, that is, unless another team brings him in and believes he's a tackle. For the Raiders, he's likely going to be our guard, which means we're in the right tackle market. I know some people love Denzel Good and some people love Jermaine Illuminor, and I am one of those people, but... It's definitely still something to consider. Should the Raiders go in on a rookie right tackle, a guy you may be able to get in the second or third round. Daniel Falil from Minnesota measured in at 6'8", 384 pounds. That is bigger than Trent Brown. That is the, the heaviest player since I believe 2002 or 2003 measured at an NFL combine. That is very interesting, man. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, I don't think... Uh, Typically speaking, that your height and weight really matter if you're an offensive tackle. Uh, just take Rashawn Slater from last year. I think he was like 6'3", uh, relatively short for for a left tackle or a tackle in general. A smaller, he was on the smaller size side in terms of weight as well. But if you're on the opposite end of the spectrum, Trent Brown is a very powerful football player. Like I, I remember the first year the Raiders had him. He was putting people down and uh, he was putting people like Aaron Donald down just the year before in the Super Bowl for the New England Patriots. And that's something that is really hard to get. And even at 6'8", 384, could he potentially be a guard? Now, I don't know if he uh, measures in as a guard. He's, he's very tall. I, I think he may struggle with power uh, on the inside. That is right. Not, not necessarily on the outside. And I think he also had, I think, 24 or 26 bench press reps. So he's, he's fairly strong, you know, 6'8", super long arms. Should the Raiders go all in on the Minnesota right tackle? You know, I think the Raiders do need to, to upgrade their tackle position. I do think that uh, Daniel Fallell is an option, but I just don't know if, if I believe he'll have a long NFL career. Uh, Trent Brown, super short career, had a lot of injuries. Orlando Brown Jr. is another example of a guy who's big, who, or actually who's tall, who weighs a ton. He hasn't gotten hurt yet, but he's about to get paid. And there's a chance that after a player gets paid, it, it typically happens. Uh, the Chiefs obviously traded, I think, a first round pick for Brown. Uh, and obviously, Brown is about to walk in free agency. I don't think they have the cap to resign him. These bigger guys generally don't work at the tackle position. At least they haven't shown to work. At least stay healthy consistently. Now, Cole Miller, on the other hand, is tall, but he's super skinny. Uh, and obviously, he's gotten stronger throughout the course of his career. But Vallel, again, is on the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of weight versus Colt Miller. I think Colt Miller was like 315 coming in. Uh, and obviously, Vallel is a good 70 pounds more than, than Miller was. Uh, either way, I think it's interesting. You know, he has good film. He has good tape. Uh, he does kind of struggle uh, sometimes with the with the speed rush with the guys that are really trying to get upfield past him but when he does get his hands on these these smaller guys he definitely throws an aggressive punch and I, I think that is something that i do like again another thing to consider is that our offensive scheme our, our offensive coach you should say brought trent brown in two separate times right he brought him in let him walk to the raiders for two years and then he brought him back again last year so it's not like Josh McDaniels doesn't like these type of players, right? And you can almost argue, does he prefer the bigger guys as opposed to the Colton Millers? Something you can definitely consider. I would also say this, your right tackle is the position that you would bring in a bigger, slower guy. The left tackle is the guy that has to be quicker, faster. Um, and that's solely because of the, the being the blind side, blind side, right? You know, both, both tackle positions are equally important, but on the right side, you can definitely have the slower guy because the quarterback can see a little bit better than as opposed to the left side. So uh, either way, I think it's something to consider in the second to third round. I don't know exactly where he ends up going. Let me know what you guys think, man. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.